three, two, one. And we are live. Hello, dear landscapers. What is up, everyone? It's great to have you here again. Um, and we have today another Creative Monday. Yay! Yay! <laughs> All right, so we got a logo now for Creative Mondays. <laughs> and it looks like this. Yeah, I hope you like it. You can give us feedback if it looks creative. You know, if not, we'll, you know, go back into to our drawing desk and spend another three days and nights designing. Yes. Yeah, and uh, please let us know if it's misspelled. <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny. Because that happens sometimes when, when we're writing uh, titles and stuff. Yeah. Sometimes it happens. But hey, you know, the more the merrier. So, yeah, your comment uh, comes. You correct us. Yeah. Thank you. So, for everyone who's here for the first time, welcome to Linescape's channel. Hello. My name is Sonia and this is Kasper. We do videos on creativity and drawing. You can find a lot of uh, tutorials on our channel and also some other drawing stuff and some interviews. So, yeah, go and explore some more. Yeah. And today we're going to do a fun creative exercise. Um, which will require no really pre-existing drawing skills, but it will require your imagination. And it's one of those creative exercises that we do on Creative Mondays, where we really push you out of your comfort zone and train your right brain half um, to come up with new things, to come up with new ideas. So it's basically an exercise for everyone. You don't have to be, you know, you don't have to consider yourself creative. It's a great idea um, to train that creative part of you. Uh, now and then. So you can gladly share it with friends and I would say we would dive right into it and I just tell what we need. Yeah, please do. All right, so um, basically what you need is just one piece of paper, mm -hmm. right? One piece of paper. Um, we, will, we will basically destroy this one. So yeah, take one that's not, not so important. And then you need another piece of paper like a surface or uh, a sketchbook will do as well. Apart from that, I have a pen. Now, this is a Sharpie. You can also have like another one, a thinner one. Everything goes. And some scissors. So this is what we will be needing today. So if you're not, if you don't have that uh, ready, just go grab it real quick and we'll start right away. Okay. So in the meanwhile, let me say just hello here in the comments. Hello, Lena, Ineke, Maria. How are you? Marianne and also Samantha is here, Philip, Kim, Carlos, Isidore, Eleonora and Radka. Hi, how are you guys? How is your day going till now? I hope the Monday is treating you well. <laughs> yeah. It's really great to see you all. Um, is someone here for the first time in our live streams? I'm also always interested if we got some new people and for all of you who've been here before and are coming back for this, um, you know, welcome back. It's um, been really, I would say, I've, I've been looking forward to this stream because um, it's always a great feeling to, to get together with you, um, even just through the comments. So if you're watching this live, yeah, do drop us a comment. Um, we'll do our best to answer the questions. And if you're watching this on replay, write us a comment under the video, what you thought about it, and um, give us some feedback. We love, we love to get that, and we'll definitely also answer any questions you might have. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay, we also got some comments back on our uh, Creative Monday banner and it was accepted. It so was accepted. It looks cool. Carlos said it's a cool layer. So. All right. Thank you, Carlos. I hope it's also grammatically correct. So, um, Gasper, we will start now, right? We will start now, okay. I would say. So, let's take your first piece of paper and um, the one that we're going to cut up later mm -hmm. and take your pen. And we'll just start off by... Uh, drawing a few shapes. So um, don't make them too big, but uh, also don't make them too small. And you can draw them apart enough from each other because you will see in the next step we will have to, we'll have to cut them out so it's good to have, mm. have some space to maneuver uh, with your scissors. All right, so let's go. I usually like to start with a, with a kind of kidney shape, a nice organic kidney or bean, you can also call it a bean. And maybe, Sonia, you can give me some suggestions or maybe people have a suggestion for a shape that I can add. 
I think we're going to ask our viewers. So um, suggest a few forms that Kasper should include in his cutout. So till now he has like some sort of bean form, some sort of oval. Yeah. And now you can go for geometrical shapes or even something yeah. more crazy. But do draw the same ones or similar ones that I do so we can then together compare. Peanut shape. We have peanut. a suggestion. Very good. We get a peanut. Um, one question. How big should those forms be? So look at... Okay, I have rather big hands. Um, this, is, uh, this is for scale. Yeah. I would say like something like that. So uh, this would be the bigger, the biggest one. I would do bigger ones right uh -huh. now. I would okay. say. Yeah. Yeah. Just that we know for proportions and you know some there you go. tend to draw bigger, some smaller. This is kind of a peanutty shape. And then we have spiky blob. Spiky blob. Spiky blob. All right. And another one is also palm leaf. So. Is this a spiky blob? I think yeah. I yeah. hope so. Palm leaf, all yeah, right. It's a palm leaf. But I will do it more abstractly. So otherwise, it will indi indicate too yeah, too much. We want to have them like. Oh, better. it's from the side. Uh huh. Yeah, okay. it's from palm leaf from the side. So what what don't we have yet? I like like a half circle. I think um, it's a quite cool one. What about a diamond shape? Let's have a diamond one. Yeah, let's let's have a diamond shape going as well. How many do we need? All in all. I think we just... Maybe let's get another two. Two circles, right? We said we, we wanted to have two circles. That's very practical. At least one. Like one half circle, I think, yeah. is already quite cool. I'll, I'll add another small circle. Yeah. What about the triangle? Yeah, we is haven't got the triangle. That, that triangle is cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just throwing those out there. So it's, it's not necessary that you that you agree with everything. And let's have a um, another stick. Like we don't have a stick. Uh -huh. You know, like a stick. So we got enough to work with. Okay. All right. I think I think we're good. So these are the elements that we're gonna yeah. need today for for the following. These part. are these are the elements that we're gonna need for the following part. So basically, really simple. Now, for the, to make things a bit more interesting, I would suggest we color them in. We color some in. We leave mm -hmm. some out. But not without color. Not without color. I would just use black. Not with color. Not yeah. yeah. Not without. Not with color. Not with color. Yeah. <laughs> Double negative. What? Not without color. Yeah. Well, I'll just let's let's simplify it. I'll just take my pen. Hashtag bad English day. Is it a bad English day? We're not sure yet. We're not sure yet. I mean, we need to do a few slips, <laughs> and then we can we can uh, confirm it's a bad English day. Okay. But what you mean by that hatches and stuff? Yeah. I will yeah. do some textures in like some hedges. Mm -hmm. Like this is a kind of texture I like to draw. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> no, really. I'm just like drawn to this furry kind of texture. Mm. Yeah. Think what I, you want. I wonder what that means. Yes. I, I, I bet it's like a psychological reason behind that. If there's a psychologist out there, you can psychoanalyze me through my art. Um, okay. So I colored half circle in black. I did like a furry thing here. Mm -hmm. um, let's do maybe like dots? dots. Yeah, let's do dots on the peanut. We don't have to color in all of them. Um, I would just leave some yeah. blank. Okay, that's a good suggestion. Otherwise, maybe that would be also yeah. too overpowering in the sense of visual yeah. stimulation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And let's do another one maybe... Um, let's do another black one. Let's, let, let's make the diamond black. Ooh, so black we have diamond. a black diamond. All right. So yeah, do it's similar than I did. So we have something to compare. But these shapes were not predetermined, um, and this is the idea that um, we basically take some shapes which do not have any meaning yet, mm -hmm. and our challenge will be to turn them in, into something with a meaning. So if you have any questions at this point, you can gladly ask it in the chat. And meanwhile, I'll take my scissors and cut the shapes out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so and now when we explain this exercise, um, of course you can ask uh, some questions if you have them. But um, I think I did something similar to this, what we're going to do today in the past already so i'm not sure but i'm not sure maybe it was in kindergarten or maybe it was in primary school 
but I'm sure we did something like this before. So my question on you is, did you ever do something like this before, where you just did some cutouts, maybe some collage, and just reorganized um, it into some sort of interesting or different composition? Um, because I think this counts into a rarely, uh, rather similar category. Right? Yeah. Or would you, would you not agree? I would totally agree. I mean, here it's basically, it is a basically, you know, it's also fun to do it. In our case, we will push ourselves a bit. Well, you know, oh, we always have, to, we always need a twist. Mm -hmm. We'll push ourselves a bit by giving us a time limit to come up with different ideas for these forms. Right. The thing is just that I don't know where is my phone. Oh, you can have a timer. It's probably on the computer, right? Oh. Isn't there? Timer. Timer. There. There ought to be a timer somewhere. You think it's under the the tools? I don't know. Look, this is like a comet. Comet? This is fun. Sometimes in process you see things um, that you don't expect. And this is like a comet um, coming in from the space. You know, I will cut it all the way, but it's fun to see. Online term timer. Okay. So, uh, Maria said, love this exercise already, never done it before. And then, uh, once again, what's this name? C C six. The one in Cyrillic? Okay. Six and... I think the C is S, if I remember correctly, in Cyrillic. C... <laughs> Someone <laughs> written in Cyrillic uh, did that already in school. So, dear person written in Cyrillic, it, what if you wrote us your nickname in Latin, with in Latin letters, and we will know how to call you? How or, about that? I mean, the other option is uh, Sohar. Okay. Sohar. Sohar. Thank you, Sohar. This uh, is... Uh, yeah. I love... I no, love it's just like a burden fell out <laughs> of me. Um, but yeah, okay, continue. What did you wanted to say? I just wanted to say that I love Cyrillic letters. Um, they're really pretty. Huh. Okay, so we also have the timer ready. I found an internet version, an online version of it, and I agree with with your comments about Cyrillic. It's it's very very special. Okay, so Carlos said, "Little cookie, right? Little cookie." One of, one of one of the things I did is a little cookie, or probably I don't know. Love Cyrillic too, said Maria. Ah, okay. So oh, Maria is ob obviously can write and read Cyrillic, right? If I'm correct, Maria. Okay. Yeah, it's it's Rusk in Russian. Uh, said so hard. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so how how are you doing? Are you drawing with us or creating with us today, or just looking and uh, trying to observe what we're gonna create, um, or are you still at cutting out your parts? And let me know if you added some some of yours as well. Mm -hmm. Because I know that some of you are very creative and tend to add some elements that are not always on on our instructions. And that's also very fine because we are a creative group of people and this is Creative Monday and this is allowed. It is totally allowed. Yeah. So... Um... Today, at the end of the video, we have a special announcement to make. And I'm really, really excited about that. Like, super excited. Um, because it's going to be something new, something first off. But I think we will enjoy it, and you will enjoy it as well. So I'm really glad to tell you about it. But we have to wait a bit. Till the end of the exercise. Yeah. So this is the part where, where everyone is just skipping to the end for those who are watching at the end. On replay? Yeah. Everyone watching on replay just clicks to the <laughs> end now. What's the announcement? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
this is how it works. But we know, we know all about those tricks. So we're not going to tell it in the end. We're going to yeah. tell it like just before the end. So when you, when we, if you skip forward with the video and you, and you don't find it, you have to go back and watch all the time. Or maybe we're going to hide it somewhere in between. Just randomly yeah, tell just you randomly. Really, really fast, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Samantha is cutting with us and uh, Sohar is just watching. All right. Yeah, I think many are just watching. But it's also uh, very nice to observe what other people are doing. It is. Um, and I think we also got this whole situation with camera and light uh, in order. So it looks also pretty amazing. Uh, it's much easier to observe as well. Yeah. Finished cutting, as Anita said. Okay, so... Casper right. is also almost finished. You, whoever had the idea for the spiky blob, blob, give me quite a bit of work. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, so the following instructions are that we're going to play with those form a bit and we're going to try to organize them in different... Yes. N yeah, not compositions, but we're going to try to to organize them in different structures or objects. Look at them. Oh, yeah. How sweet they are. Before every every new um, cycle we do, you can also mix them together, you know, just that you just mix everything, that you re rearrange all the elements so that you are very free. But you did a nice job, Kasper. Thank you very much. All right, everyone, so now comes the fun creative part. Like Sonia said, we will now rearrange them. You know, you can move them around, obviously, in a way that they create a meaningful image, right? Mm -hmm. What does a meaningful image mean? I would call it something that you can name, right? If it, you can create something that you can give a name to and someone else looks at it and goes, oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that could be... That could be, you know, so a the, flying hot dog. Uh -huh. Then you've achieved it. Okay. Okay. So the goal is to compose of those elements something that can be recognizable as a yeah, but it as can, a some sort of symbol that already exists. Well, it can also be something. Or are we doing creative monsters? It can be a creative monster, but if you name it like you know, you have to name it. Then you have to, mm -hmm. you know. Okay, we'll see. Because I'm also working with these elements for the first time, so now we'll see. So, before you just go wild, Sonia will set a timer and we will try to do as many as we can. But we will give ourselves always one minute, alright? So, we will first arrange it and mm -hmm. then, to in order to document it, I suggest everyone take your phone and take a snapshot before we go to the next one. And also... Take your pen and do the outline of the one you did. So, once again, I will arrange, try to arrange in one minute into something that is, you know, interesting. I will outline it. I will write my name, what it is underneath it, and then we'll move to the next one. So we have it documented. So I'll start in the upper left corner of my page. You can also plan that so we get several in. And maybe I'll need another paper. If you have a sketchbook, maybe you'll fill several pages. Um, but also I suggest always taking a snapshot. Okay, so Sonia, are we ready with one minute? Yes, I'm ready with one minute. Okay, let's go. Give okay. me the time, everyone. Are you ready? Okay, three, two, one, start. Boom. Okay, so... Man, this is always like when we start, it's always... You have 60 seconds. Jesus. But you're much faster, so you're gonna do many of them. So don't stress about it. So Just listen to my calming voice. And organized a organize a composition of some elements. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh you can God. also talk to yourself. Sometimes talking to yourself very loudly helps as well. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, this looks like a kiwi. Yeah, it looks like a kiwi. I know. It is the idea is to nesting make... kiwi. Nesting, right? It's a <gasps> nesting kiwi. Oh, oh wait, later. I, I I need to add and give it some eggs. Okay, nesting kiwi. How cute is that? <laughs> Okay, it calls Won't you put them yeah, in the a, nest? A, yeah. black, a black egg? Man, but Sonia, one minute is brutal. It's brutal. But you, but you did it. But you did it. No, but I still need to... Let's do something with this. It needs to be a twig or something. Uh. Okay, so one minute is up. 
Okay, it has, so, it has a diamond egg as well. <laughs> it has, yeah. It may, maybe it's a kleptomaniac. Oh, it's uh, a kleptomaniac kiwi. <laughs> it's a kleptomaniac kiwi. You see? How do you write kleptomaniac? No idea. With, I will just try. I will just do something. Klepto. Klepto with C probably. Clap? Like clap? Toe? Look. It's C L A P T O M A N I A C. But someone probably also wrote in the comments. No, not yet. Kleptomaniac kiwi. Yeah. All right. So okay. so um, we have a, a first one, a kleptomaniac kiwi. So what have you come up with? Tell me your name. I'm really interested how you named it. And I will do an outline so I will kind of remember it later. You know, just as, as much as good as I can. <laughs> and we're going to move to the next one. Okay. So Dory is saying... Just like when watching my math professor at the board. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Awesome. Oh, this is my kleptomania kiwi. It doesn't look like kleptomania kiwi <laughs> anymore, right? Anymore. It, <laughs> this was not his final form. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, let's do another one. Let's move to the next one. So people... Um, Are you finding, finding it hard to use the same piece of paper where you already draw on it? No, I think it's fine. Yeah? Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll do the next one next to it. And then I can probably just fit, I don't know, five or something <laughs> here. Fat cat <laughs> at sunset. <laughs> awesome. This is great, Louis. Okay, let's, let's just push to the next one. We need to move along uh, with, with our time here today. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So right. I would say yeah. that you start now. Okay. And you again have 60 seconds to create something spectacular and name it, name it as well. Okay, so, ooh, a dancer. Yeah, now you just need to add a head. Wow, this looks amazing. What if it's going to be a headless dancer? You don't know yet. Okay, Samantha said winking face. All right. So that was the, the name for her first uh, composition of elements oh wow beautiful do you need to use all the elements all the cutout elements I would say no but at this point I'm still trying to use all of them in order to be um, in order to uh, to push myself so <laughs> well, now I will call this the... Isidore has a suggestion. He said, Dancing Angela. <laughs> Whoever Angela is. is okay, it? also the time is up. So you need to start naming your creation and also start doing the outline. <laughs> and this one I'm calling Furry Ice, Ice Skater. Okay. Yes. Very nice name as well. So if anyone looks at this and goes, oh yeah, this could be a furry ice skater. I mean, it's missing the part that he's holding a diamond and a mini explosion in the hand, but... But does that mean that after this, when we're finished with outlines, that we're going to start filling the gaps and trying to just give them some volume? Because right now, when you remove those elements, there's just outline. Yeah, so people, take a snapshot. The snapshot with your phone is going to be the thing that will really document what you did. The outline is more like to remember and write the name down of whatever you know we created. So I would say take a snapshot now before you take it apart and then we're gonna move to the next one. Okay, so I have my one minute ready. Oh you have one minute ready? I'm I'm putting mine away. Um everyone, are you is this fine? Do you have um can you keep up? Um Give us a little, a uh, little bit of feedback if this is okay, or are you totally sweating? Um, so we know how things are going. Also, if you like this exercise till now, you can always give it the thumbs up. We're yes. gonna highly appreciate it. Also, if you didn't subscribe to our channel yet, this is the right time. This is it. a perfect time. Gently click that like button. Yeah the subscribe button and also really important if you haven't yet the bell because you won't be notified about our new videos if you haven't clicked the bell this is like the new youtube algorithm thingy mm. so yeah you have to ring the bell mm. and yeah that's just that's just the way the world works now 
organized, structured. Yeah. Uh, okay, Kashper, are you ready for another one? I'm ready for another one. Before After that, we can also switch. We can switch. We'll okay. go. We'll go back to you. Okay, let's mm -hmm. go. You get one minute. You all also get one minute. So okay. you're starting. Three, two, one, now. So Maria already said, "I'm barely ke keeping up um, and laughing while doing so. Um, this is fine." Um, you can always copy Gashper's example, that's uh, also no harm. Um, and it's also not necessary that they are very complex. You can also invent your version of ice cream or... I mean, I'm just giving you a bit less pressure because afterwards it's my turn to start uh, <laughs> do, <laughs> doing my creative compositions. And, well, we don't know yet how, how skilled I am doing those kind of things. So, social distancing was mine. I like it much. Okay, that's, that was Ineke. She did the social distancing. All right. I love this one. Wow. <laughs> Warrior. It's just like, a, what would we call it? <laughs> the knight with the funny leg. With the peanut. The knight with the peanut leg. Yeah, peanut legged. Night. Peanut legged night. Philip said, really good. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, but I think I'm taking the compliment, but probably it's meant to, ga <laughs> to go to Gashper, so... <laughs> Gashper, really good. <laughs> You're taking away my compliments, eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I will take whatever I get. I mean. <laughs> So you, you always need to check if your glass is half full or, or half empty. Yeah, yeah. You, take what just, you take what you, what you can. Yeah. I mean, the one sitting at the comments obviously has an advantage. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Okay, so I didn't probably mention, but your time is also up. So uh, if you haven't started yet, do the outline, name your creation, um, and then we can move to the next one. Peanut like a knight, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, very cool. Awesome. Now it's gone. Now it's gone. Yeah, that that was fast, huh? <clears throat> that was fast. This so, is how it happens. Now it's there and then not anymore. So, this is also fun to see. Um, anyways, I will mix it up again and I think I'll leave it up to you, Sonia. What do you say? Okay, so this is the point where we switch? This is the point where we switch. Oh, we switch now. Okay. Okay, I get to read the comments now. Mm -hmm. huh? Okay, dear audiences, it's you and me now, at the comments, you can tell me stuff. Okay, I will just tell you very qu quick, you push the reset button and then it restarts to one minute. All right. This is it. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, everybody, get ready to a round uh, with Sonia. I will totally not pressure her uh, doing this. <laughs> okay, are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all right. Okay. So, um, three. Two, one, go! Okay, so let's put it like this and this. Hmm. Wow. So, uh, do we need to use all the elements or not? No, I would say I would say you're allowed to leave some out. I like your method, like throwing things around until you see something. Oh, this is a good method. Nice. Oh, I already li like this thing you're creating. I don't know what it is yet, but. Oh, it just got something else underneath there, and it got something more underneath there. It's like you would you would look like uh, you would look formula one. Yeah, or like a commentator. Oh, and then oh, and then it got a star, and it has a star, ladies and gentlemen, on the top. And now we see the star is moving, and it's sitting firmly on that pile of fur. And the square <laughs> is still a bit uncertain on the red side. We don't know if it's going to be incorporated or not. Who knows if Sonia will manage to name this thing. What could it be? Is it a dancing mushroom? Is it a... Ooh, so the inspiration for next one. Yeah, okay, so is it a composition with a square rectangle? I think and... that's it for me. All right. But I, I... And three, two, one, boom. Maybe I can add here another one. But it doesn't fit. <laughs> oh, this is cool. I love it. It looks like a person with head which just has a hat over and just the nose is looking out. I'm trying to 
figure it out. What do you mean? Where do you see the nose? Like this is the nose. This and, is the nose. Yeah, this is like the 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 cheeks. This is the you know the hat over. Ah. And it has like. Uh, and it's from above. No, it's from frontal. I maybe I'm stretching it a bit. It could be. Okay, let me just give it. An People outline. are. We, we have some com recommendations. Um, bird, snowman. Is it the face with a hat? Asks Radka. So. Ah. Okay. It's so not just me. It's not just you. Um, it could be a face with a head, but I I was thinking more in direction of very boring uh, exhibition piece somewhere. You know, you have here a star. Maybe I should add instead of the star, I should go with a diamond. But uh, it it was meant as an exhibition piece. Exhibition. So I'm not an exhibitionist, but an exhibition piece. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We have always the same problem, which are the words, um, the pronunciation. Yeah, pronunciations are quite hard for us. <laughs> we also have a dog, a cute Snoopy. It could also be a Snoopy. Okay, we can give it a Snoopy. All right. Okay. It's like a Snoopy on a piet. But I must say the outline is pretty pedestal. hard to, to do. Yeah. yeah, because they move. I know. Right. Cute. So, what did you create, everyone, in this round? And um, I also have a suggestion for the next Sno round. Snoopy. What about Yes, you let's make it, it more complicated. <laughs> no. <laughs> Since for those you of like you. to support me so much. For those of you who are watching, what about you give our names, give us name suggestions? Ooh, yes. Yeah, for something. those of you who are not doing your own thing, or maybe even those who are, um, maybe you have ideas for the names. Okay, so are we ready? Are you ready? For the next round, um. <laughs> Inke made a made a holy shit. <laughs> Kim made an unstable cake, <laughs> and Avenita made a badass potato. <laughs> oh, <laughs> badass potato! You All are right. very creative with your names. Okay, let's start. So, three, mm -hmm. two, one, and go. Hmm. Okay, you already did the body, so I, I think another body, but maybe I can, can I do a plant? Maybe you can do a plant. Let's try. Maybe these are the leaves. Maybe these are the leaves. Looks like it could be a cactus. Maybe I can also turn it around so mm. that I have more, oh, more yeah. space. This is an example of thinking out of the box. You know, just turn it on its head or around, if you cannot progress. Okay. <laughs> Marianne has, has, is just done cutting. <laughs> so, yeah, this is completely fine, Marianne. I hope, um, I hope you can have... We, we'll, ha we'll, we'll be doing this for a couple of more, so you can gladly join. And I hope you didn't have two complex forms. Um, we're really doing a couple of more of those? Yeah, yeah. Um, what about then filling the, the gaps? That was not meant for this today's exercise. Not by me. Hmm... But you well, want to? We could, if you uh, want to. I'm, I'm trying to think about how can I... I think this one... Did you... My minute is all already up? I think your minute is already up. Uh, I'll give you another one. How about that? Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm I, I think I'm not allowed to start with, with an intention. I just need to explore the form. I think that's a bit easier. And maybe, maybe I'll just... I won't, I won't distract you. But I will uh, look at the comments a bit. Mm -hmm. So... A name before it is finished, <laughs> Isidore said, a snake. And uh, Marianne just said, no, no, she just forgot to enter. So I'm glad that you join us later. And for everyone else who's joined us right now or later, what we are doing today, we did, took random forms, we drew them, and we drew random forms, we cut them out. And now the challenge is to get to create something meaningful out of these forms and give it a name. Giving it a name is an important trick because it's also... It pushes it into something concrete. It pushes it out of, you know, complete abstraction. So giving it name, it's a nice trick to, to um, yeah, to kind of solidify uh, what you do. And this kind of exercise and similar exercises are really training our imagination, are pushing our creati creativity and imagination um, into areas um, that are not usually comfortable for us. Mm -hmm. 
And are you done? Yes. All right. And we have an example. So, Sonia, what is this? Star Observer. Star Observer. Wow. Look, this is the person. Mm -hmm. And it's sitting on a very comfortable mm. chair observing wow. the star. I like this. Okay, this is cool. The Stargazer. Oh, yeah, the Stargazer. The Stargazer. Let's call it the All right. Stargazer. There you go. Easy door. Also says telescope. So, uh -huh. very good one. Uh, uh, but it's just moving around. How? What was your technique, Kasper, before that everything didn't just move around? I just I tried not to touch it. I just, ah, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's also. If not, yeah. That's also a way to do it. Yes. If you don't touch it, they usually don't move. Hmm. Okay. Like this. And then we have the star. Oh, I didn't even saw this one. Okay. So, I'm ready for the next one. Alright, so you got space for one more on this page. So this was the star case. Yes. Star... Gazer? Z I will say... Yeah, Air? G A Z E R, I think. Yeah. Gazer? Yeah, I hope. Native speakers, you know, do. Do, do some correction. Do, do something, please. <laughs> let's give it an exchange. Let's, let's do a bit exchange, um, knowledge exchange. Yes. Workshop here. All right, so everyone, okay. let's try another one. I don't know if you're already like, oh, I'm out of ideas or if you're still um, still going, but let's push ourselves here. Let's try another one. So get ready. I'll, let's really try it in one minute now. And Sonia, three, two, one, and go. What to do, what to do with all those elements? And I don't have so much space, so this is also... Yeah, well, this is quite a... this is a restraint as well. Oh, a challenge. A challenge, yeah. From restraints, usually cool ideas come. Maybe? How much time do I have? Just go, go. So, how are you doing? What has your re most recent creation been? Um, I'm also, if you're watching this on replay, it would be interesting to, you know, if you write it in the comments what the things you came up with were. And if you have the chance, you know, if, if you're taking snapshots with your phone after each one you've done, um, or if you're just doing the silhouettes, it, I would love to see it. If you're on Facebook, you can get in our Facebook group. It's called Lionscapers. Um, I'll post it here real quick in the chat, and it's also in the link in the video description. And uh, we will prove you to join and you can join the great community where we share the works we're doing you can always ask for feedback for opinions and everything it's a it's a fun place to be all right Sonia so we're closing in to the end yeah I'm I'm done you're done yeah all right let's push it a bit on top so we can see what you were doing wow all right this is cool okay so this is the Downward dog beginner. <laughs> because <laughs> this is great. <laughs> because it needs to, you know, support himself. Usually, you can get like a vlog that you can buy if you're a yoga beginner. Then, uh, then you support yourself on those elements, or you use books to to achieve some pose. And this is how you get the feeling and develop balance. Downward dog noob. Yeah. And I also like how the down this person is like in a tutu, basically. Yeah, the, yeah it's, you, when, you're, when you're a beginner, you know, you don't know exactly how to dress there. The yogis are usually a bit more elegant. So. Yeah, you, you wanted actually, you thought you were going to your first ballet class, but you, <laughs> you, you showed up at the yoga class. So, yeah, you're wearing that ballet outfit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, we have some questions. How many languages do you... Uh, do we know or we are learning? Um, basically, we speak, really, mm -hmm. to be honest, honest like just, we just speak um, three. Yeah. Just three, I would say. 
Yeah. We speak Slovene, you know, we uh, are from Slovenia, so it's our mother tongue. We spoke speak, we both speak German and we do our best at speaking English. Um, and now then Sonia knows a bit, poquito, Spanish. Poquitito. Poquitito, and I do a bit of poco, of, a poco of, of Italiano. So I understand Italian um, mostly, but I'm not really uh, good at speaking. No, but wait. I can I can speak Serbo Croatian. Yeah. I mean it's true. Yeah, Serbo Croatian goes. It's true. So that that goes. Okay. So my I filled the piece of paper. Wow, awesome. Yeah. This is great. We get okay from Crystal we have Unicorn, Shopping Mouse, Picasso, Playing Fish, and Smoke City. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> from Lena we have different kind of splatters. Um uh-huh. Marianne said, did not manage the co uh, contours, though, but I have the photos. Very good. And then Carlos says, un poquitito. Cute. Haha. -ha. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I know. I know. All right. Okay. So, um, Sonia, do you maybe want to take it a step further or do we wrap it up for here? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm quite content uh, because I think I did a very good job while naming those. Um, but maybe... I don't know, maybe we can go back and just try to fill the lines so that we have some sort of... Okay, let's try just to... Just for one or two that we that yeah. you know what we mean by that and then afterwards you can do it for yourself. All right, so this is taking basically this exercise to the next level. One version would be you keep playing with those and, you know, try to come up with 50, you know, wow, if you do, kudos. Um, what Sonia is going to try is... This is also like... Th there's levels to creative exercises. First is like this just with random forms. Then we try to see something in them and combine it. And then the silhouettes is another level where we have a name, we have a silhouette, and now we have to fill it up to make it look like the thing we named it, right? <laughs> so that does not mean that it needs to look the same way yeah. it looked before, right? Yeah, no, it does mean it needs to look the same way. But let's try it out. So we hadn't planned this before. Yes, yeah. I didn't expect to do it. But I think it's a good idea. It might push us even further a bit because the silhouette thing is something interesting, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, and yeah, yeah, do do let's let's try fill one up. I would say you do the same. Take a silhouette you've done, or maybe if you haven't drawn a silhouette, do one now. And let's try to draw in that silhouette now. Because it will give us a new perspective. Do we get a time limit? Um, I would say um, I would say no. Okay. Yeah, I would say just fill one out. It's not so, probably not going to take too too long, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Great. Great. Let's do it. <laughs> roll, roll with it. Okay, so I think I'm going to do kleptomaniac kiwi because okay. it's quite a uniform surface. Yeah. Very it's nice. not so divided, so maybe this one will be the easiest. Okay. So we have a kle kleptomaniac kiwi. Mm -hmm. So the form of kiwi is, I need to check it once again, I think it's something like this, right? And then it has like this nose, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. so I think I'm gonna do the first, the, the kiwi. So has any one of you also tried any of our previous creative exercises? Has anyone um, been there when we did the uh, splatter monsters. This was a kind of a different exercise because the first step was just to do a splatter. It was quite easy, but now the second one was uh, um, the second one was filling those splatters out to make a monster. Um, it's interesting that today we didn't come up with any monsters, though. Usually this is the first thing you know, at least my mind goes to when we have abstract forms. I don't know why it's another uh, another case for a psychoanalysis, but yeah. Okay, so I had an idea which I'm gonna try to do. I'm not sure that it's gonna uh, that it's gonna work. These are creative exercises. Actually, you know what? You're supposed to fail when doing a creative exercise. This is like a sign that you push yourself to to your limit. I would say. I think it's totally fine to fail. Actually, one should like to learn to like to fail. Yeah. I would say. Yeah. I'm always trying to <laughs> apologize somehow. Oh my god, is that a kiwi riding a broom? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so is it uh, like, uh, which Harry Potter house is it from? 
<laughs> what is this like a New Zealand Quidditch? Oh, I know. It's like um, All Blacks. You know, it's like an Quidditch All Blacks equivalent. <laughs> So they do their haka, but they do it on the, on the on the brooms, and their you know their emblem is obviously a kiwi on a broom. But why are they stealing? They need to have like a yeah like, you know like a no game. notorious notorious uh, uh, notorious sports team, the all black kiwis, the flying <laughs> the flying blacks, the flying all the flying kiwis they're called the flying kiwis. And they are notorious. They always steal the other team's brooms. <laughs> and gold. Yeah. And gold, Kasper. <laughs> wow, this is so cute. Okay, let's hang something down as well. Like maybe some jewelry, you know, and stuff. Because that's not the only thing they, the Kiwi stole, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is super. The Kiwi stole also some other elements. So this is my broom. And... Since it has just two legs, um, he, he needed to invent some stuff. Yeah. So he's just wrapping all over the, the broomstick some jewelry, some bracelets. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm interested. Are, did, are you trying this as well? Did you also pick one of your silhouettes and are turning it into something? And if which one did you pick? What is it called? Um, we got here from Ineke a sitting dog and Maria saying that she failed successfully and <laughs> she failed successfully this very is good. great very good uh, but, but I think really this is like a very important point um, because as a creative as someone doing creative things in life you know be it professionally or as a hobby it can be very frustrating because you will fail many times um, the whole creative path is like a is a lot. It's, I would say it's it's a path of failures, uh, one after another, and then learning from those failures, and some of them um, then manage to maybe by accident become actually really good. And it's interesting because even when we produce something good, it's often we don't see that, or it's the peop the other people that see it. So we one has to learn. A bit to live with that feeling of struggle and failure. Um, I know it sounds dramatic, but once one gets used to it and just starts to love the process, it's much easier. So, and also what I notice right now is that we don't have this chance to communicate yeah. one to one. We don't see the faces when we're communicating with someone. So, the best thing that you can do is just be content with yourself, mm -hmm. be happy with the results that you produce. Or even more, the process and the results. And the process as well. I mean, you need to appreciate when you see someone's face or when you when you hear someone's confirmation, you feel good about the work that you did usually because you said, okay, the order is complete, it was very nice executed and la 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 la. And if we don't have that, then usually we are thinking a... I don't know, maybe that was not the best work I did, but I think the best way is to ask yourself, did I enjoy the process, mm -hmm. as you said, and also did I give my best, uh, uh, was I creative, and then if the answer to that is yes, then for sure you should be happy with the results that you produce. Yeah. Okay, so this is my Kiwi. And he also has an earring here. Here are some bracelets hanging down the broomstick um, and also some jewelry this and a pot of gold. It looks like even he has a helmet, you know, like an aerodynamic uh, translucent, uh, um, you know, glass helmet. Actually, <laughs> plastic helmet. <laughs> it needs to have some sort of glasses. Yeah. <laughs> this is great. Okay, everybody. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this and we will send out a heart right now to Marianne um, who has donated to us and thanks a lot Marianne, thanks for supporting this channel and uh, we really appreciate it and we really uh, thank you all for being here, for being around and you can support us in so many ways and most of all I would say, you know, sharing around what we do because this is actually our goal to get Get this out to as many pe people as possible. Yeah. So thank you once again to Marianne. And thank you all for supporting us. Just while uh, with being here and 
trying this exercise with us. Mm -hmm. We appreciate it a lot. So I will jump before we go to our announcement, the final mm -hmm. announcement. Yeah. I'll jump a bit to the schedule. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. Um, and yeah, we have Wednesday in two days, May 27th, 7 p.m. We're going to work as usually um, on our technique. And um, we're going to do drawing vegetation. Um, we'll still look at the materials we're going to use and we're going to give you uh, exact information which to prepare. But um, the last wishes that we had were, okay, let's expand this drawing trees into more drawing vegetation. Um, and then we have on Friday, May 29th, we have Feedback Friday. So this is definitely a point when you can share your work and just say, um, yeah, send these guys uh, your work, you know, with your friends or whoever else would need feedback, and they will correct it for you. And it's even fun. So, uh, I hope. So, uh, Feedback Friday is a great way to get direct feedback from us. And we look at your work, take 60 seconds, and then correct it. Hmm. Um, all right. So, we got some people also joining in. Let's first, Marianne made a peanut smoking cigar. Lena saying that she's going to try another day. You know, some days it's just hard to do it. I really admit. Yeah. And Zoe chiming in a bit late, but that's no problem, Zoe. You can watch this on replay and I hope you'll try out this exercise because it's been really fun even if you do it on True. replay. So. The the news? The news, huh? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so. You wanted to top down? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So for a while now we've been doing these creative exercises and um, we've done a few already and I hope you like them. But now we said, what about, you know, we also want to learn some more and even push ourselves. So let's get some other experts on. Yeah. So next week our guest in our live stream is going to be Whitney Sherman. She created this beautiful book about creative exercises for designers and artists called Playing with Sketches. And uh, this serves also as a great source of inspiration for our Creative Mondays. And we thought to ourselves, why not to invite someone to talk with us and maybe uh, give us some instructions to create a creative exercise uh, yeah, I mean, if a professional does it, then I think the results can be even better. Yeah, so we scheduled it up, we contacted uh, Whitney Sherman and she said yes. <laughs> and we're going to continue doing this, we're going to contact other people that might be interesting and bring you value and knowledge. So um, next Monday we will have her as guest, we will talk about creativity with her, you can ask questions and then we'll uh, read them out loud to her so she can answer and we're going to do a creative exercise with her, mm -hmm. one of the many she does with her own students. So yeah, we're really, really excited for that. Yeah, so this is it. I hope you're excited as well uh, because we would like to make it a regular thing to invite some other mm -hmm. creatives, experts and crazy people who are very inspiring. I like um, how you put it, like creative experts and some crazy people. <laughs> well, sometimes they are all together, sometimes they are just crazy. <laughs> sometimes they are just one, sometimes they are all three. This is good. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah, you know. You know, creativity and craziness, there's a, there's not even a line between them. I want to say there's a fine line between them, there's sometimes no line. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So, in this way, I would like to say, uh, stay creative, keep on drawing, and see you on Wednesday. Bye bye. Bye, everybody. All right. The awkward silence when I try to end the stream. We have a strategy. Wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. And then you do the mute. Okay, bye, everybody. Bye bye. <laughs>